Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and today I am delighted to share with you a couple of tips I've picked up along the way for using your Sizzlet die called the Pinwheel. It's so darling it makes the cutest cards and I have to show off my card first before we get too far into the video. This is the card that my Big Shot customers are going to make next week and it uses the cloudy day embossing folder in the background and then look how the little cupcake topper coordinates with the clouds in the cloudy day embossing folder. I just love how Stamping Up coordinates so many of their products to work together. And speaking of coordination, you'll notice my little pinwheels even have a coordinating sentiment on the inside. On the outside here it says happy birthday and on the inside it says blowing wishes your way. I love that. In fact, here is the stamp set called wishes your way and it has a couple of cute little things that will work great for your pinwheel cards or your pinwheel scrapbook pages. In addition to blowing wishes your way we have wishing you a whirly twirly birthday and you are headed in the right direction. So I love that. I love that about stamping up. And I also, I couldn't have my pinwheels just floating around in, in, the, in the clouds without having something to kind of hook them onto. So I made a little grid that you can see here with our Island Indigo uh, Baker's Twine. Isn't that cute? I just love it. I hope my customers love it too. I think they will. But on to the sizzlets. I have a couple of pieces cut out and I'm going to share with you two different techniques. We're going to learn how to make flat pinwheels and fluffy pinwheels. And so first with the flat. So we're going to um, take our, our uh, little die and we're not going to pay a whole lot of attention to where these little, um, these little holes are in the die. We're just going to fold over our pinwheel using the hole somewhat as a guide just to get towards the center of the die. But we're not, like I said, we're not going to pay a lot of attention to them because when you have a flat pinwheel, it just doesn't matter. So this is the quick and easy way to do it. So then once it's all folded in, you just poke through all of the layers with your paper piercing tool. You will take a, a mini silver brad. They look so delicate and fine in these cute little pinwheels. Fasten it behind and you have yourself a very nice and flat pinwheel. You have to admit they're not going to stay fluffy in the in the mail or in your scrapbook page and so if you're just gonna have them flat in the end you might as well make them flat in the beginning, right? So that's flat. Fast and flat. Now the next type we're going to do is the fluffy pinwheel. And the fluffy pinwheel is great. It adds a lot of dimension to your card. As you can see I made some fluffy ones here. And it looks great when you display your cards in your home or if you're doing a scrapbook page and you're going to put your scrapbook page on the wall, fluffy is fun for that too. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our paper piercing tool and going through the back of the pinwheel die the die cut, we're just going to thread, <clears throat> excuse me, these little holes through, well, here we go. We're just going to thread them through our paper piercing tool using the holes as a guide to know where to thread it. There we go. And then kind of leaving it floppy, we just grab it in the center and I don't know where I learned this technique from. It might have been from Stampin' Connection, one of our demo-only websites. But you just then you just put your paper, um, your little brad through the brad back, and it of course captures all of those little holes thanks to threading it through the paper piercer, and you have a fluffy pinwheel. So those are the two kind of pinwheels. We have fluffy and flat, and I don't know if I said this or not, but I want to give credit to my downline, Catherine Narog, who taught me how to make flat pinwheels, and I have to say they're quite a cinch to make and real easy, especially for those of us that have to squint a lot when we're looking up close, and so this you don't need to be quite so precise on. So I hope you're having a great day, and thank you so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. Bye-bye.